Hey guys, this is Gerald, and I want to give you a quick rundown of the new files module. Okay, we're here on the dashboard, and this is a clean install, so let's head over and look at the module itself. Okay, this is the brand new fresh installed interface. It has no files in it, no folders. So everything in this interface is handled with right click we don't have any tiny icon bars to hunt through to try to find the little picture that means what you want so anywhere in this area right here is right clickable so we're going to create a folder so right click and hit new folder and it creates it and if you don't change the name it just calls it untitled folder but you see the name is highlighted there so let's just type a name in here and you can hit enter and it's saved and you can see over here on the right side these messages drop down as events happen in the background to let you know what has been done so now you can right click on that folder and you see you've got some options here you can open it, you can upload to it, um, rename it, and that's about what you would expect. You could type a different name there. And instead of hitting enter, you can also click off to the side, it'll save just like on your desktop. Um, you can, let's upload some files here. So you can either click here or you can drop files. So we'll just click and I've got some test images here that I use for this type of thing. And you'll notice another thing different in the this module from the old one, you can resize as you upload. So let's say we just want this one 200 pixels wide by 100 pixels tall, you can do that. And it's meant to get the picture close to what you want so that if you're uploading a 2000 pixel image and you want it to be 800 pixels wide you can get it close this isn't a replacement for Photoshop <laughs> so it's just a, a neat little feature here so alright we can upload them one at a time or upload the whole lot and you can see over here on the right side they've been uploaded so now let's open this folder by double clicking and here they are so we can sort them and upload more from right in here okay now each of these files can be right clicked on and you can rename it same as how the folder works and you can also check details on each file so supposing you want to embed it you could just uh, click here highlight it and uh, copy and paste into a page or wherever you want to put it the WYSIWYG editor still inserts images too but this is just another way of doing it um, and it has an automatic download counter so if you use the the tag for downloading files or if you insert links with the WYSIWYG editor it counts all those downloads okay um, well let's head over to settings I want to talk about cloud files just a bit so we go into files here and you'll notice we have a bunch of new settings and this gives support for Amazon and Rackspace cloud files so you put in you select which ones you want to use here and we'll use both of them for this test and you put your keys in here these are my keys and they they've been saved in the form here so you'll need to get your own you can't use mine sorry and let's save it Okay, now let's head back to files. 
All right, so we've got this folder, and all these files are local. They're saved on the same server. So let's create one called Amazon Test. Now you right click on the folder and go to details and you'll notice you've got a location field down here drop down click on that and we want to set this to Amazon now the folder name here has nothing to do with the bucket name in Amazon so we'll name this whatever we want um, I'll prefix it with my name because these have to be unique over the entire Amazon S3 system so I'll just call it Gerald test and actually no I won't I created another one earlier today and I think I called it Unru Morgan test I know that's kind of random now save that and it either creates that bucket on Amazon or if there's one in your account with that same name it links to that bucket instead of creating a new one so now we can go into this and let's try uploading again and upload you notice the progress bar goes quickly at first and then it waits a little bit that's because it I'm working local here so okay they were uploaded to Amazon and Rackspace is the same way um, just create a new folder and and go to details select Rackspace and Rackspace containers only have to be unique within your account so you're a little more flexible with the names there and okay so let's look in Amazon test we've got the two images we uploaded but um, this afternoon when I was playing with it I uploaded a 250 megabyte video file to Amazon and that there is uploaded from a different interface or it can be I actually uploaded it from this interface and then I deleted all my folders and files and left that file in the Amazon system so what we can do is go back to the top level here and right click on Amazon test and you'll notice we have an option called synchronize and what that is if you have files in a in the bucket that this folder is linked to you can synchronize and it basically indexes those files in that remote bucket and links them stores stores the names and everything in the database here so we'll do that and when it's done synchronizing it loads and here is the uh, video that I uploaded this afternoon. The video is still on Amazon. We didn't download it. We simply grabbed the name, the details that we could, and we stored those in the database. So now we could rename it. And uh, that's how that works. So with Amazon and Rackspace both, you can upload from this interface and the way it works it uploads to your website server and then it saves all the details about the image or the video or document and then it pushes it to the cloud so if you don't want to do it that way you can upload your files using the Amazon or Rackspace interface or anything else you want and then just come here and create a new folder and link it to that container let's say you name that container videos then you would come here and save and it would be linked with that container and 
then just come here and synchronize. And if there is if there is records in the database here for files that are no longer in the cloud, then these records will be deleted from the database. So you can remove files in the cloud and come back here and synchronize and it will it'll either make new records for the files you've uploaded over there or it will delete the records here for the files you've taken away over there. So it makes it quite flexible for how you manage it. And oh folders um you can create any number of folders inside other folders and and you notice the tree over here on the left keeps growing so this icon shows which level you're on so if we want to jump back up to local test and you can collapse them if you want so there's room for lots and lots of folders over here and you can upload lots of files here too so um, let's just upload a number of them well We'll upload this set a number of times. And keep on mind I'm keep in mind I'm running local here, so this is going to look like it's really quick when in reality it's going to take a bit to upload files like this on your site, but There we go. So if we go back to the root level and then load this folder, loads them all in, and you'll notice we haven't done any page refreshes at all. This is all without reloading the page. So you can click on an image there. We don't want that one. Hold your control key, click on that one, this one, this one and now right click on them and delete and we got rid of all those you can also use your shift key to delete everything in between and that about sums it up here uh, I guess I should take a look at the WYSIWYG editor real quick Let's go here and let's insert an image or two. Now, this works about like it did before. Um, this part will just set the size you want and click on the image and it'll be inserted. Um, and the cloud files, it looks like I need to change the path for this thumbnail here. Little bug. This module is beta, so that's to be expected. Um, but these here work the same way. You can insert, uh, let's set this one about 300 wide and insert it. And you'll notice it loaded it in from the cloud. It took a little bit because it's not local, but that is integrated just like you would expect same as local files one difference cloud files are not resized they will be whatever image whatever size they were when you uploaded them to the cloud so uh, if you notice there's still the slider when you're looking at cloud files but all that does is set the width attributes it doesn't actually crop the image like local files do. And we can insert documents. Um, here's that movie that we uploaded earlier. And we insert that. And I guess let's save this and head to the front end. There's the local file, the cloud file, and the uh, cloud movie. There's a couple more details that I'd like to talk about, and that is the integrated search over here. 
you can search by file name you could list all extensions um, you can search by location so that should come in handy for managing large numbers of files and the other thing I wanted to clear up is folders within folders you can create folders inside of another folder and each folder has its own location set so even though this folder is inside Amazon you can set it to be anything by default it's local but you could also set this one to be rack space if you wanted to so that should make it very flexible for let's say you want to have a videos folder but you want some videos stored on your server some stored on Amazon some are in a rack space account every folder is configured the other thing is that locations can only be set when a folder is empty so once you upload some files to it it's frozen and you would have to create a new folder to change the location of it so that is all thanks for your time and if you decide to use this I hope you enjoy it thank you